I'd like to learn about your experience of the natural world. During typical week, how often do you get to experience nature? So in a typical week, I like to spend at least 10 hours in nature. Um, for me, it's really important to have time in nature, otherwise I start to feel cooped up. Um, and I think it just to function normally, I, I like to be outside a good amount every week. So I feel like 10 hours is my minimum. And so that's everything from like recreation and riding bikes to uh, just, you know, like cruising around, hanging out outside and just, you know, relaxing outside, not even being outside for a reason, but just being out there for fun. Yeah. So if you get the chance to spend more time in nature, is that something, is that a good use of your time? Yeah, totally. Like, I'm 100% going to go for a hike instead of, you know, doing schoolwork or something else. I'll just blow off other stuff to go outside because it's something that I enjoy. Where do you usually go when you're in nature? Uh, when I'm in nature... Most of the time I'm riding, um, so I'll just ride, you know, in the mountains. It's sort of been a family aspect. Nature has been like, uh, I've always gone outside and done stuff with my family, so they're all into mountaineering, hiking, climbing, um, backpack camping trips were a, a big deal for us when I was a kid. A lot of time outside will also be just spent like here on campus and just like hanging out with friends and stuff. Um, playing frisbee, sometimes when it's snowing, you know, sledding and stupid shenanigans outside like that. Um, just fun stuff, going outside to enjoy the outdoors. So the purpose is relaxation? Yeah, totally. So how is this experience different from being in the non-natural world? It calms the mind and helps you uh, think clearly, I guess. Definitely when you're out there camping, you know, you, you didn't see a building all day. Yeah. Or you didn't see it's a, a car. Pure experience. Nobody can use their phones. You know, like the the most technology you've got is like maybe your headlamp or something that you use. But other than that, it's just totally it's pure. Yeah. That's a good word for it. Have you had an experience in nature that profoundly changed you? For me, what's changed me the most is the uh, cumulative time spent in nature, you know. Uh -huh. uh, just I, from an, ever since I've been a young kid I've been out in nature and enjoying it and it's been a big part of my life. So being in nature for you is less of a specific experience rather than just something something that you do all the time. Yeah, it's it's a way of life. What's the opposite of nature, and can you tell me about a time that you're immersed in that? If I think of an opposite of nature, it's gonna be New York City. You know, like there aren't trees, there aren't mountains. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all flat. It's just concrete and city everywhere you can see. So it's just it's that was kind of a weird experience for me because. I just never experienced anything like that. You know, it's hard to say if it's good or bad. I didn't enjoy it because I was out of my, uh, out of my comfort zone. You can never have the same experience in the city that you can, in, you know, hiking out uh -huh. in the mountains. After spending a long period of time in nature, uh, do you want to return to society, or is it something that's purely restorative for you? I couldn't stay in nature indefinitely. Nature, while it's very relaxing in one way, on your body, it's kind of takes a toll after a while, right. you know, not having a bed. So I really love my my day excursions and everything and just getting out for the day but then still having a bed to come home to. Right, so for you, the, the city and nature balance each other out. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. Like, you can't have exclusively one or the other.